game is on. The last map in the round of six in the ZVZ at the Blizzard Cup 2012. And starting at the bottom left of Entombed Valley, we have the Red Zerg player starting for Team MVP is... MVP Tongmegu. Made the Overlord. No early pool. No early pool for him. Nor for his opponent. Both of them with the Overlord here. Cross position to DRG. To the top right of Entombed Valley, we have his opponent, the Star Tail Zerg player, the Code S champion in Season 4. It is. Star Tail Live! Michael. You know, we don't know who's going to advance here, but the one thing that is for sure is that whoever it is, it's going to be a great player. And it's also going to be a Zerg. Yeah. That's also what we know. That's also what we know. Yeah, two great players making it this far. I mean, their performances in their groups are telling enough that they were able to get out, but consider also that they were able to get into this tournament in the first place, where they're going to be basically handpicked internationally 10 top players to have the prestige of playing in the Blizzard Cup. They picked champions. Yes. They picked champions here, and now we have two of them facing each other in the... Yeah, well, in the round of six, they uh, were able to get out of the group, and uh, we had Life taking the second place, of course, in his group. DRG, on the other hand, ended up third after parting and lean off in group A on Monday. And both of them with very similar build now on this last game. Both of them with a the pool first, not risking it to go into the hatch first. We have Gas for DRG already. Life is just now taking his. And the expansion, of course, also on the production. Yeah, the gas significantly behind for life. So there's going to be a slight window of time where DRG has this uh, faster speed over his opponent. That could be problematic. Just see the gas going down now. Of course, for life, finishes up here. It's, of course, his second gas because he always goes for that extractor trick in the beginning of the game. You know, there's this, I think the, it's an Australian band, the, the Feelers. They have this song, Larger Than Life. It's actually pretty catchy, pretty cool. You guys can look it up on YouTube. I feel if Don Ragu wins here, that should be his new theme song. <laughs> it's actually a good one. It's a really good one. We need like out. some kind of YouTube compilation of this best of five or of uh, DRG's best place against life. And then this song as the background song, that would be so fitting. But first of all, he has to take the best of five. And life, well, this guy here is trying to be the one who comes out ahead. He already had a 2-0 lead. Then he lost two maps, and now he finds himself on the Dune Valley. Yep, he shows Lings, which indicates to DRG that, of course, the pool has been done for a little while. And he doesn't really get any scout information just yet. DRG checks for fast bailings in that little secret hallway to the left side, making sure that there was nothing hiding there, no fast bailing nest. And now he's going to see the hatchery, of course, his overlord. DRG with a lot of Zerglings here. Yeah, he's hiding them. He's making yeah. 20 now in total. He's getting more and more at 18 harvesters. Gotta put a lot of pressure on Life. Life does not have an Overlord to spot this. In fact, he put his Overlord to the left side. And DRG knows this. So, he knows that there's no Overlord who's gonna see this. If he kills, if he kills these Lings right now, then nothing will spot his attack until it's too late. Well, and up to the point where he's in the middle of the map, yeah. I feel that he is, should take the Zelnaga Watchtower with one of these Zerglings, and now they are heading in there. The Overlord is going to see it. How many Zerglings do we have? We have 23 against 2. Life. Here comes DRG, and Life, he has the Baneling Nest, but he doesn't have the Zerglings. Yeah, he doesn't have the Lings just yet. He needs some more for Banelings as soon as possible. He's got the Queen Block on the ramp. He needs Banelings down here, though, and Don Rigu is not going to let those finished drones come off the line. DRG is moving in. The Spine Crawler is ready. The two Queens are blocking the ramp. The Drones are trying to use the Mineral Warp to get a good shot at those Zerglings the and Life wave. is doing well, but still there are so many Zerglings. The second wave here, and look at the block by Life on the Queen, it was excellent, but he still loses the one on the left, will he lose the one on the right? No! The harvest account is 27 to 24 in favor of DRG now, he droned up behind this, but he is so far behind in Zerglings. He's trying to get the Baneling Nest right now, but if Life keeps producing Zerglings and rallies them across the map, he will be able to hit hard. Yeah, he may decide to do just that. He keeps mining gas as well. He's got a massive gas lead here. So he could also just take that advantage and go into a fast lair. He's got a lot of choice. Looks like he's making two banelings in the middle of the map. They're going to rally across pretty soon. He wants to make them far enough away from DRG's base. They're not scouted and also that they can't be picked off life. He continues the aggression. He knows he has the better Ling lead. He's going to take that fight. There is no spine crawler just yet, but life is a little bit too late to the party with the rest of his Zerglings. So the spine crawler is going to be completed and the bailing nest as well. He can't hit this timing. He just doesn't have enough. 
These Banelings, though, are going to change things as Mindcrawler is not quite ready. Oh, uh, it's trying to get the Baneling in there and take down a few Zerglings. The Zerg is down queen. 40 to 3. He's going to get the second Queen as well if he wants it. He's in the main base. He's in the main base. He takes down the Queen and now he's starting to take down a few drones. And he already has a drone lead. Yeah, he already had the drone lead. A few Banelings do get cancelled here. All one lane for one Baneling, though. It's not good for DRG. But the drone count and also the layer tech, that's what's really important here. And life has both. Workers killed 3-2-3. Three, three. Life has a bit of a harvester lead. He has his lair tech already up and still more gas than his opponent. A great position for life. Takes the extra gas here. This is really, really good for him. The Queens, man. You know, if you look at the Queens on a unit's loss tab, it shows 300, but there should actually probably be worth something about 750, considering all the larva loss, all the economy that's going to be lost with the injects that you miss. Lair's still not started for DRG. He's trying to get that infestation put up so he can use something to try to catch up and try Look to get ahead of the upgrades. Look at how late the lair tech for him is. He just started it. Life is nearly done with his own lair tech. Has more gas than his opponent. This is really tricky for Dongragu. Of course, he can't be pressured here too much, and we still have the even supply for both of them. Also, nearly the same harvest uh, count. But the gas is so important for life Fire. right now. He aspires to take that early third and pressure his opponents with that Spire. He spots Dar Darnigu's move out here. He's going to try to turn him around with a little Ling run by, but he needs more at home. I think he, he needs to make a maybe another spine call. He starts 18 Lings defensively. And the Lings for life are in DRG's main base. They've seen everything. They know the timing. He is in a great, great position here. Even more links rallied across the map. There is no chance for DRG to take a third base at this point. Yeah, he even has the Overseer spotting to see the second that uh, DRG takes that third base. He's gonna punish him! That was so close with that Bane lane. John Ragu is going into the Roach Warren here. Ah, nice. Bane, two Bane links against one. Good trade for life. Yes. But yeah, we have plus one attack now for DRG, and he also has the Roach Warren. No higher attack for him just yet. Most likely going to go into the, the infestation pit, and there it is. DRG does not know that life has the Spire, though. He has no information. There's even a changeling in the main base that sees that DRG goes to the infestation pit, sees the infestation pit is late. Life has almost every advantage in the book here. Life will have eight to nine meter lists in just a second. He just always has this mainly to protect his queen, so he's never going to lose it. He a he lot of link battles here in the uh, middle of the map. One for four, that's okay. Ah, uh, let's be careful here. Two Bane Links for Dong Ragu now. Third base has been started. There's still a Bane Link for life. Nine, ten Mutalists are now being started. No pathogen glands for DRG just yet after his infestation bit finished. Oh, I can't believe he didn't take that. He might take this. Oh, it's too close. Goes in, kills about five. The Mutalists are good though, and the rest of the Zerglings are gone. And now here come the Mutalists. Save the day, take the bailing down, and immediately Dong Ragu with the Sparklers. He knows that he needs them. But he won't be able to save his third, I feel, against the Mutalists and any additional links that life always across the map. He starts his infestation pit. You know, in the first game that we've seen where the Mutalists didn't do anything for DRG now, suddenly we have life with the Mutal play, and he can take down so many of the Overlords. You can already see that Dong Ragu is trying to save them, but he lost two, and as you already pointed out, the third base is something that he will most likely not be able to save, at I least not if there are going to be some Zerglings yeah. in the bottom I'm so excited, Keller, about how life does this. I feel like he's doing this flawlessly, because consider also, he knows his opponent has the faster and better tech, so he starts a macro hatch, because he's like, well, I'm going to have a better economy, you're going to have a better tech, oh, nice. but I can, I can make up for that with this uh, macro hatch. Now he takes out the third base. And he just sent one of his Mutalisks over to spot if there are a few investors walking to the right, so that was really well done. Yeah, he one made Mutalisk no mistakes. With, one Mutalisk with the whole position, trying to get the scouting information, and the rest takes down the third. Very important here for him. Takes yeah. a 20 supply lead, has the better harvest account just now, plus 10 drones, and is getting even more. Now he has to send all these roads to DRG with the Queens just to take a third base. This is what you want to do, you know, if you go for Mutalis, you want to take down your opponent's third, you want to kill a couple of Overlords, you want to pressure him, you want to put him behind, and this is something that DRG, when he went for the Mutal play in this series, just couldn't do. On the other hand, we have Life who picked up another Overlord at the top left, and there is still one to the right side that is just now being killed. This is Overlord number 5, I think, that he could kill. In addition to the hatch, that's worth it. He that's has so worth 1,200 it. resources lost, more efficiency in life, that is. And these mutas need to split against investors, but he may be able to target down some drones as well as get nice. potentially one or two of the investors. He splits here. And no fun leave, but DRG is <laughs> like, well, it's not worth it. Yeah, exactly. That's nice. That's a nice split. You leave two in, uh, two mutalists there, and you're like, yeah, well, you can chain fungal them, but the thing is, then you are out of energy on every single one 
of your investors. And that was a nice catch, denying the scouting information. Life knows that there are no overlords, that there is no information for DLG, and as long as he prevents the Zerklings, as he just did with the Fungal, from running into the main base, he can hide whatever he does. You know, right now, DRG is looking at the main map and he's feeling a little blue, because you can see that Life actually has overlords and Mutilus everywhere, and he's, he's blue, man. The queen count is getting a little bit out of hand here for DRG on the other. That's seven, both of them actually with seven queens. Yeah. Eight. Infestors Actually, no, five. Uh, life has three queens. Oh, well, yeah. what did I actually just see? I don't know, I have to, I compared it to something else. Yeah, I was a little bit weirded out by that, yeah, but yeah, seven queens against three makes a little bit more sense for life to have only three and not this massive amount. Yeah, the upgrades are a little bit better for DRG, but does he have enough units to make it matter? Oh, you may have seven queens, but that may be reduced to the five here in just a second, even with the transfuse. And the Mutalists are going in at the third base, no picking score. off the Queen. Can he dodge the Fungal? We see yeah. splits. The Fungal goes down, but he actually will be able to... Oh, no, that was actually really nice. And I thought he might be able to escape there, but no, it no. turns out he can't. The Fungals are pretty good here. And well, a lot of the Terra lost as take well as down. the Queen. Yeah, 10 uh, Harvesters lost, but that was not really what he wanted. I mean, it's not, it doesn't break his neck. You can see that he is still far ahead in the overall supply. It's just the Mutalists were designed to do a lot in the early game or in the early mid game, and that's what they did. But you want to trade them a little bit better than that. He forced a lot of energy, he killed a few drones, but yeah, he tried to get into the main base and do a bit of damage there before he loses them. Life is going to force a cancel on this fourth base easily. He's got a 30 supply lead in army. The composition is going to be pretty good for him now that he's got his own plus two finishing up right now. He burrows his roach. He has that burrow advantage over his opponent so he can heal. I, even, I actually don't even think that Life is trying to kill the fourth base. I think Life is trying to kill the Agino. And it may work, man. He has a lot of additional army supply. He's at 102 against 76. This base is all DRG has to hold on to right now. He's got the investors in the right spot, but the roaches are already in position. The and here come the fungals. It's massive for life. He has more than 30. And here we go. The fungals are good. No and cancel. life is doing a lot of damage. No cancel. Exactly. The hatch just dies. But DRG takes this trade very well. Did not actually. You're that right. was a really bad trade for life. Most of his roaches were firing at the hatchery. Yeah, he killed the hatch, but. Doryu could not have hoped for more. Life had so many in, uh, roaches, but he didn't have the uh, the Hydra account. And now DRG takes a little bit of a lead. He is still on three bases though, but Life is not mining from his four. The Life. Hydralisks really doing a lot of damage in the last fight. The DPS, the extra DPS that DRG had, saved his day. Life definitely still has a supply lead, but DRG man, he's now got the upgrade advantage with that Carapace coming out. DRG, I don't believe... Yeah, he doesn't have Burrow, so he can't heal his Roaches. That's something I think is is really worth it in ZVZ. We're not seeing enough people research it. Life is consistently researching it. DRG, on the other hand, adding four more Investors now into his composition. He's going to be at nine to six. Life is now mining from the fourth. Is also taking the gas, and therefore he has the extra gas in just a few seconds. You can see the healing on that Roach actually makes it basically impossible for one Roach to <laughs> kill him. He's going to bring three. That game is so close. At first we had a... I mean, it's just a back and forth game right now, especially in here resource loss. But here comes a nice fungal. He's forcing him to fight the army supply not. in favor of PRG, actually. Yeah, not a lot of Hydras to support... Uh, not a lot of Hydras for life, but not a lot of Roaches to support DRG's Hydras. And the road hit points may be too much. Carapace no finishes for DRG, but life, he had the better composition, I feel, by far. And now he's taking out these investors. They're very expensive. They're very crucial for him here. He can't kill him, though. Only one of them dies. All the others are safe. He falls back, but yeah. Dodges even a fungal. Look at this supply leaf for life right now. The last fight was so good for him, and the Infestor count is still massively ahead for Dong Ragu. That is the one thing that life could not kill the yeah. Infestors. He killed like two of them, and it looked like he could get more, but DRG was just a little bit too fast. He also wiped the energy out on them, so they're not as useful for this period of time as they would be. Few Lings run into the main base. Life just consistently trying to harass, trying to get some good sky information, trying to buy time to, to mine more at his fourth. Ah, uh, the Overlords here, too exposed. Yeah, DRG actually, if he loses three of these, then he will be supply blocked, even losing uh, two. We'll supply block <laughs> temporarily. Yeah, moves in again. That's 200 more resources. Doryu has to spend. He finally takes his gas at that base at the bottom. He was really late on that. In gas, mind life is way ahead of Dongragu, but he also lost a lot in the last few battles. 
Army supply wise, we have the lead for life with roughly 20, but he also lost more resources than his opponent. But he's trying to find an angle here. He has more army supply and he wants to use it. He's moving in. There's the fungal at the same time. A road run by the left side, but the big fight is happening at the fourth. The Hydras are really getting their damage in for life here. On the other hand, we have a lot of fungals now for DRG and also the Infested Terrans, and he's pulling his way through here, yeah, the Infested dropping Terrans. a lot more units, but the run by in the main base is good and does some damage. The Infested Terrans, man, that's hidden army supply that we can't even really talk about until they get dropped, and that's what happened. DRG dropped that supply down, takes a pretty good lead here, but he's losing some harvesters in the main base, and harvester count is 70 for life to 56 of DRG. And the big issue here is that he loses gas mining. He loses gas mining because those were all gas drones that were killed and now DRG has to remember to put them in again. He is low in the gas income and that's another advantage that life has even with four bases against four bases. And he's moving with a few roaches to the bottom again to do the same thing at the fourth. You can see that Carapace upgrade that life does not have is coming into play here as DRG is not not losing his drones to two shots from roaches. It takes three shots to kill a drone when you have that Carapace oh, upgrade. Wow. Life did actually not see the Hive upgrade. He didn't see it. He had a unit so close, but he does not see that DRG is trying to go into Hive to go for the plus three upgrades and also get he the Spire could. and the Greater Spire later on. He could move it over and see it, but you know, the Hive, I feel, is not going to be important just yet. He's but it's not going to expect it. Yeah, it's important for him to know about it, for sure. More investors being added for life, who is finally catching up with that Carapace. Ten investors still in advantage for DRG against seven. And he's got the better roach count, but the Hydralis count goes to life, and if he can get good fungals off, the Hydralis are more valuable, but I worry about the Infested Terrans, just like last fight. The army supply is even, and if DRG gets a good position here, life might lose everything. The plus one armor upgrade should be ready in the next fight so that they fight on even upgrades, but this is a scary position. Both of them could take the fight in this game. Life is trying to establish a fifth, but here's the angle for DRG. He's moving in, and Life is not ready for this. A really good angle for DRG, but the fungal's much better for Life initially here. And with those hydras, fungals are everything. DRG is dropping in supplies, dropping fast. The fungals were good. The infested Terrans are actually not helpful at the all. Life fungals. is rushing him. The fungals, man, and those hydras may have won Life this game. Now he's got a massive supply lead, 80 supply ahead. DRG starts Burrow. Life is on his tail, though. He's got a fifth base going up here, but more Ouch. importantly, he's got a massively I I not believe that he just won the last fight so convincingly, taking it okay, but this, I mean, this was crazy. He got the perfect fungals off against the weakened Hydralis of the IG, and that was really something, and that, this might have just won him the game. Yeah, the Burrow research here, you can see coming into play so directly. Watch that Hydra, or rather the Roach Health go back. Five more investors going up for life. He's got that extra base now. He's mining from it. And he wants to push in and kill a hatchery of DRG or at he, least trade against his army one more time. He is doubling his opponent's roach count now and he has so many more Hydras. Dodges the Fungal here. Well done. And now just look at this. The Fungal is good against the Hydralis this time and he doesn't get the second one off. And There's now way they too much DPS cannot do anything. They are going to die. Way too much DPS on Life's army here. DG! Life will take it out. Great job here in the series. Taking an early lead. DRG ties it up. But in game number five, Life takes the proper engagements and wins the series. Look at that. That's, that's DRG in the booth saying, I really wanted to advance, but Life is just not fair. Life is such a great player. It is crazy. The same is true for Dom Ragu, but Life with 15 years, this kid is just so amazing. It is unbelievable. Doesn't show any emotions in the booth. This guy is like, like he has never done anything else in his entire life. He's just sitting there, he's taking wins of the best players in the world. He's amazing. DRG, such a heartbreaking series for him. He's down two games and then he comes back, forces the deciding map, the fifth map. And after such a game, he loses it. He must be so devastated. This is like the GSTL and the semi-final in the code S all over again. Yeah. That was intense, man. Uh, I, I actually wasn't sure he was going to take that fight, but the fungals were so good. He, yeah. You saw that massive chunk of roaches he hit. Then he had the Hydra lead, and the Hydras did the damage from behind the mineral line where they couldn't really be attacked. The Hydra were exactly the Hydras were exactly where they needed to be, outside the range of the roaches and outside the range of DRG. Life put down some cool changelings that kind of blocked some of the units at the back of the army as well. That wasn't like the deciding factor in the, the game, but it certainly helped out. A lot of small things in this game by both players, and Life, he takes it, he advances to the semi-final now, 
And of course, the next game that we have here at the Blizzard Cup 2012 is going to be a Protoss versus Zerg. Parting, he is up against Violet, and after a short break, we will start with our first game here in the PvZ. So stay tuned, and we will be back after a short break.